Hi, and welcome to Intro to Adobe Animate. First, you're going to want to pull up Adobe Animate. Once Adobe Animate is pulled up and open, go under New and click Action Script 3.0. After getting into the program, go to the Properties side and change the length to 1080 by 720. In the upper right, you can change your workspace from Classic to a new workspace if you'd like. To begin, there are two types of animation, frame-by-frame -frame animation and tweening. Frame-by-frame frame animation is exactly like it sounds, drawing each frame individually, while tweening does the work for you. With tweening, you begin by drawing a beginning, middle, and end frame and let the computer do the rest. This is a much less fluent way and less detailed, but it is good for simple movement animations. To get a new layer, click the note button, and to rename it, simply click on the name Layer 1 and type in a new name. Add a frame, control right click, and go down to insert new frame. After that, just click F6 to add a frame or F5 and F6 to carry the same image to the next frame and edit it. Onion skin is very important because it allows you to see the frames before and after. This allows you to edit more easily and keep proportions in check. Over here is where you're going to want to adjust brush size to erase an entire frame just double click the eraser icon. change your color you're going to want to go to the paintbrush tool and then you're going to go to the bucket not the stroke the bucket would just fill and that will adjust your color and to export it you're going to want to go to file and go all the way down to export and then you're going to want to click export video and when exporting you're going to want to uncheck convert in adobe media encoder and then you're going to save it to wherever you want and click export Once exported, you're going to want to double click the QuickTime movie and that is going to immediately convert it and then you will need to save the converted file. After that, you are free to import it into Adobe Premiere and edit it as you choose.